So how many people die in Pearl? All right, let's find out. Pearl is your helpful farm girl hand who's actually taking care of her sick father, waiting for her husband to come back from the war, then BOO! Actually, I'm not even sure that's in the movie. They put that in the trailer, but fuck it. They totally Marvel movie us right there. He actually comes home at the very, very end. And this is a prequel to X, that sexy movie that came out earlier this year. The same barn and everything just, you know, looks good. So let's get to the first kill. She kills a duck. <laughs> But, you know, you don't count animals, but the whole point is she does kill animals and feeds it to the alligator to train the alligator to eat people and animals and things. I'm not even sure if that's the same alligator we get 60 years later in X. I don't know, man. Or maybe she just trains new alligators all the time. Yeah, she starts to see a handsome projectionist, and this guy is so handsome, he's able to show her porno on, like, a first date and everything. Legend. Most girls will get offended, like in Taxi Driver, but she is a freak, man. She starts humping a scarecrow, and it's one of the hottest things I've ever seen. She came, too. I was like, oh, man, get it, scarecrow. <laughs> Shit, lucky-ass scarecrow. Oh, man, and she even sees the guy and everything and yells at I was like, this girl is crazy. I love it. She gets into a slap match with her mom, and then they end up brawling inside the living room and brushes up against the chimney with a flame and sets her ass on fire. She catches fire real quick, like, damn, dude, you use too much starch or <laughs> moonshine on your clothes or something. She dies a slow death, too. Like, Pearl throws her down in the basement and she suffers for a couple of days. After that, she goes back to the theater, sees the projectionist, has sex with him for real this time. <laughs> he comes back to the house. She gets all pissed off. Boob stabs him with a pitchfork. That's like her favorite. That's her go-to weapon. And stabs him right in the mouth. Now you gotta ditch his car in the lake too, but hey man, thank goodness you have like a man-eating alligator. That's what you train them for. Hey, go to eat this dead body for me. Just ring the dinner bell. And next is the dad. So the dad was like a can of tonic like this whole movie. He's on morphine and such. He doesn't get fed to the alligator. At least not like right away. I guess he eventually does. The alligator can only eat so many people. I guess he'll eventually get fed to him, you know. Maybe that alligator has like a family. Or he's still eating a pretty boy from earlier. So, you know, he just gets the smother you with the pillow treatment. And Pearl is determined. That's the difference between a mass murder and a serial killer. Mass murder does it all at once. Serial killers still, like, live out their lives. Like, dude, her work ethic, she still made it to our audition, and she crushed it. I don't know if that's great dancing. I mean, it looked good to me and everything, but she did not get the part. Ah. Oh. But that's really on the judge's fault, dude, because one of them's like Simon Cow, like, well, we're looking for a blonde girl, like, well, sorry, dude, well, I can't change that. You knew that shit before I got up here and everything. That's why I was like, Pearl, kill them all, dude. <laughs> Lock the church and set on fire. I mean, you're already murdering people. You're already in the habit of it. Keep it up. But her sister-in-law gives her a ride back home. She does a role-playing exercise like, all right, let me tell you all the things I want to tell your brother, but I'll tell them to you. Like, all right, I aboard the baby. I hate you. I wanted you to die in the war. I killed my parents. <laughs> I kill I slept with another guy. I killed him too. Oh, and uh, don't tell anybody about any of this shit, okay? Oh, uh, hey, did you win that contest and audition? I think you did, all right? Freaks her out, chases her out of the house, then smack with the axe. The girl had a pretty neat death she was going no please i won't tell anybody smack <laughs> and then pearl had to chop her up in the itty bitty more digestible pieces and we see all the chops hands elbows knees everything all white girl pieces for alligator to make into alligator food. then she sets up a dinner table with both her dead parents there really creepy the husband finally shows up comes back from the war and sees that they're serving this pig I remember seeing this in the trailer like, oh yeah, like a sesame seed bun thingy. Like, no man, that's a pig with maggots. Ah, oh, gross. <laughs> so all in all, we got a Tokyo count of four and then she just smiles like that creepily for, I don't know what it's like, five minutes until the circle thing closes on her face. Ah, crazy stuff. 
And what the hell, dude? 1985, Los Angeles. We get a post credit scene. Like it's a Marvel movie. Very cool. We get three. We get an X trilogy. And three X's mean pornographic.